delighted to present the juries for two of our biggest sections, the India Gold Jury and the International Competitive Jury. For the India Gold Jury, Franklin Leonard is the head of jury, Christian Jun, Cole Needman, Gronia Humphreys. And the International Competitive Jury, Competition Jury, sorry, Hani Abu Asad, head of jury, Julie Hansinger, Mark Adams, Vetri Maran, and me. I mean, I wouldn't call it a reality check, I'd call it a perspective. Uh, and uh, we are filmmakers, and we are storytellers, and we are that because first we are audience. We watch films, we like watching other people's work, we actually enjoy that process. So that is why we became filmmakers. I'm speaking for you, yeah, but sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, I think that's why we became filmmakers. So um, yeah, we enjoy the process. I wouldn't uh, term it the way you did though. I don't think there's any rule. Uh, I don't think that there's any, uh, uh, if you, you know, you can't approach something as like, I'm going to do something different or I'm going to uh, do something that hasn't been done before. I think that's a sure recipe for disaster, if that's your intent. I think what you have to do is take a story that has moved you in some way, and what it made you feel, put that out there and transmit that in the most honest way possible. Uh, so sometimes those stories are not things that are part of the mainstream, or have been part of the mainstream narrative. Um, and I think today, with more screens, with more platforms, with a changing palette because of the access that we have. I think the audience is open to that. I think the audience is open to self-reflection and it's open to honesty. So a combination of all that I think has helped uh, uh, newer stories to come out uh, and that's it. But I don't think you need to go in with that kind of intention. Uh, um, Mr. Vijay Khote passed away today and uh, yeah and I mean uh, He's been around, I've seen him in films since I was a child, he's been part of Shole, and uh, I mean, he's, he's a face that's been in everyone's consciousness, whoever watches Indian cinema, and we would uh, hope that he rests in peace and uh, give the best wishes to his family and uh, send them strength and energy at this point, I think, yeah. Before we open the house out for questions, I also wanted to say that we are launching, this is something that we've been wanting to do for a very long time, but this year starting from the festival and of course it will have an imprint through the year, we are launching our industry program. Um, I've spent the last year talking to a lot of industry professionals um, about what are their challenges and what would they like uh, a space like Geomami would start to do and I think access and knowledge and being able to connect with the right people from within the industry is a challenge for a lot of people. So we are starting an industry program that is going to have very sharply curated um, small sessions with industry experts for filmmakers, writers, uh, screenwriters. And the first glimpse of that you will see um, at this edition of the festival. Um, Geo is actually also coming in to do a few curated sessions like that. Um, we'll announce the lineup of those sessions, but these are B2B sessions for the industry. And um, now we open the house out for questions, so go for it. Uju Zoya said everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, you know, when you watch a good film, it makes you envious and it gives you energy to work more on yourself. So it's, it's a great... And to watch the films in, on big screen is, is different, uh, like Roma when we watched last year. And then again I watched it on Netflix. The experience was completely different. And yeah, Ajay, thanks for that. <laughs> No, you know, I, I think it's a really interesting time in our cinema now where you have, within the span of three months, a Ranveer Singh can do a Simba and then he can do a Gully Boy. I, I don't think we've ever seen a time like that in our cinema where an actor gets those sort of opportunities. Our audience is getting the sort of opportunities to be able to watch such a diverse palette of cinema. And I think what festivals do is they give us an opportunity to be able to watch films that we probably would not have had the chance to watch otherwise and to just expand our horizons. I mean, for an audience, it's just a chance to watch great movies. For filmmakers, it's a, it's a chance to watch the best of cinema from around the world and maybe 
learn new ideas or just enjoy you know movies that they would not have otherwise seen but i think it's a really interesting time in indian cinema today where it's not about limiting or moving away from what we were earlier it's about expanding the palette of the audience where they can enjoy like i said a simba and a gully boy with the same star and they both go on to do exceptional business uh, and that's 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 very exciting i think can i can i just say yeah. that i i find these um divisions um, now i think they're a little archaic as he said when you can do gully boy and simba and um, tumbar is as much a hindi movie as simba is as anything else is i i don't think we operate and i've been around long enough to know the time when we did operate from those divisions you know when it was very obvious who art house was and who commercial was but i really don't think we operate in those um, in those paradigms anymore um so i'm not sure who is a mainstream actor as opposed to who is not i mean who's pankaj tripathi is he mainstream is he art house what is he who's nawaz um zoya who are you <laughs> so i i think um and and i i'm addressing it because i think that i i was the one always accused of uh, bringing too much bollywood into the festival uh, because as i said my heart belongs to bollywood um but i genuinely don't think those uh, divisions exist and i think that if we can use the power of these artists to pull in eyeballs to other films that perhaps don't have that same level of distribution or eyeballs we would have done something good um i think i think um if we don't leverage the power of hindi cinema when we're a festival in mumbai then we would be quite stupid and uh, ignorant <laughs>